Hi hey everyone, how are you? Today we are going to discuss another question regarding MRCS based on EMRCS. Here is the question. So uh, this is what is the sensory nerve supply to the skin overlying the angle of the jaw. Here you can see the sensory nerve supply giving the skin. Skin usually uh, uh, in our by sensory nerve at angle of the jaw that means in the uh, mandible there is a patch of angle of jaw or angle of mandible this skin sensory supply will have to be explored here the options are maxillary branch of trigeminal nerve mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve cervical 3 cervical 4 greater auricular nerve and buccal branch of the facial nerve so we have to find out one of the options here so here we have to find out what uh, the nerve so you have to find out here what is the nerve responsible for uh, the supply sensory supply of the skin overlying the angle of the jaw so here we can see this is the angle of the jaw here the first picture we can see this is the angle of the jaw a, a small area in the mandible that means in the lower jaw we can see in the second picture here the angle of the mandible and here the body of the mandible and chin so here the trigeminal nerve, the trigeminal nerve here the options are maxillary and mandibular. Uh, we can see the trigeminal nerve, trigeminal nerve uh, giving rise to uh, three nerve at uh, this is tri that means thin, jebina root, uh, trigeminal uh, that means three root or three branch here and the branch first of all that is ophthalmic which give the above part then maxillary the maxillary nerve which supplies in the part of the nose and upper jaw and finally this is the mandibular branch the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve which descends down and supply the uh, lower jaw mandible but it spares a, a smaller part of the angle this angle is not uh, supplied by the uh, mandibular nerve here we can see a branch going close to the mandible but it is more medial and deep um, it not lies close to the angle of the jaw so here the trigeminal nerve giving rise to three branches ophthalmic maxillary and mandible mandibular ophthalmic uh, branch that uh, gives supply to the forehead eye and upper jaw an upper part of the jaw some part of the um, jaw uh, like this area and then uh, maxillary branch maxillary branch uh, gives rise to uh, some part of the nose and upper jaw and mandibular branch it uh, giving to the lower jaw um, and other part of the oral cavity here we can see the branches of the facial nerve here they are temporalis, zygomatic, buccal, marginal mandibular, and here the radonis cervical. So here we can see the buccal branch. Here this buccal branch is going to this area and supplies this area of the face. And here is the angle of jaw and, and angle of jaw is spared from these branches. And finally, we can see here is uh, a nerve, and this nerve is G, G for greater auricular nerve. This greater auricular nerve is going to this angle of the mandible and giving the supply to the angle of mandible. In the second picture, we can see here the greater auricular nerve. The greater auricular nerve arises, and it gives uh, at the uh, supply at the angle of the jaw. Here we can see other four branches. They are actually the uh, sensory branches of the cervical plexus L for laser occipital J for G for greater auricular T for transverse cervical and S for supraclavicular so they are the sensory branches of the cervical plexus and this four nerve is also important 
along the greater auricular nerve so here the angle of the jaw this is supplied by great auricular nerve and other branches uh, it is the great auricular nerve it is uh, the branches of the cervical plexus and other three total four here the four sensory nerve so, uh, arising from the cervical plexus are here the laser occipital this is going to a occipital area then greater auricular it supplies the ear then transverse cervical uh, then transverse cervical cervical area goes transversely and finally supraclavicular it lies in the upper part of the clavicle so our final answer is greater auricular nerve the maxillary and mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve they usually uh, don't uh, recess the angle of the mandible c3 and c4 they also know and buccal branch of facial nerve uh, they usually not supply the angle of mandible so our final answer is greater auricular nerve thank you all